Some key topics I'll cover is how Siemens can enable powerful simulations that are easy to use and iterate designs with, and expand the scope of what is explored to better understand the system and predict real performance. Some common issues in Fluid Dynamics is that the CFD software used either has multiple tools needed for meshing, solvers, post-processing, and so on, which is very time consuming to learn and use, or there's one tool which lacks capabilities. The meshing either lacks capabilities to capture needed flow features or meshing is very complicated. It can be very time consuming to clean the CAD in order to make a mesh. There's no content developed specifically for their competition and there is limited general training. This brings me to SimCenter Star CCM Plus, which eliminates these problems. This is a CFD-focused multi-physics simulation software that interconnects the entire simulation process in a single interface and provides renowned mission capabilities that are easy to use. This means you can bring in and clean your CAD, mesh it, set up your models, boundary conditions, reports and scenes, and run all in one environment. This allows users to do things they cannot do in other software. For example, you can see here that you can view a 3D solution scene that updates while it runs, stop the run, adjust the CAD, which can be connected to Siemens CAD, select mesh, which will feed the CAD change into the mesh setup, and at the end of the meshing process, map the existing solution automatically onto the new mesh, and then select run. Star CCM Plus also provides renowned meshing capabilities that users consistently find robust and easy to use. One feature users enjoy is the surface wrapper since it helps to avoid large time investments in manually cleaning geometry. This instead wraps and therefore cleans the CAD. For example, this unclean CAD cannot be meshed due to multiple intersecting parts and the gap in the tube which allows the mesh to go into the tubes. Whereas the surface wrapper clean this geometry by producing a non-intersecting and closed surface that can be used for meshing. Star CCM Plus can also easily couple various physics and motion models in a single simulation such as fluid dynamics, multi-phase flows, reacting flows, solid mechanics, fluid structure interaction, conjugate heat transfer, and others. Star CCM Plus is often used for aerodynamic simulations as illustrated by Renault Sport Formula One. A Formula One car is a constantly evolving prototype and we need to deploy innovation on this car on a weekly basis. Our ability to disrupt ourselves with design innovation down to manufacturing and then eventually logistics to deliver innovation to 21 different hubs around the globe is absolutely key to success in this sport. My main role is to ensure that we're using CFD better than every other team is using CFD. And part of that work is to make sure that what we simulate in CFD matches what actually happens at the track, that it matches what happens at the tunnel, and also to ensure that the software we use, Star CCM for example, is the best that you can get. Star CCM Plus allows us to understand the flow physics around the car in much more detail than the wind tunnel measurements and allows us to make more rapid progress in iterating and design. So when we are analyzing the race car aerodynamic performance, uh, usually you would like to have as few variables affecting the test as possible. However, unfortunately on track, usually you have many factors affecting the performance, such as uh, wind, ground roughness, tire deformation, air elastic effects. In my role, I use CFD, I, I use RCCM Plus to try to understand the effect of those variables and how they affect our correlation. With the modern regulations, the front wing sheds a very, very strong vortex recent enhancements to Star CCM actually enabled to us to observe that vortex all the way down past the rear wheels and onwards towards the following car. Star CCM Plus allows us to identify where the most potential is for aerodynamic gain which is important with all the resource restrictions in place and limitation on what can be made and tested within a season on track. So the new regulations for 2019 have significantly changed some of the aerodynamic producing geometry on the car and CFD will be vital to explore what is possible under these new regulations. A technical partnership is a lot more than a simple supply. With Siemens we have found a technical partner that has the same passion for innovation and for the challenge and definitely somebody who can support us to achieve our aspiration to return to the top of the grid.
The UCF FSA team is also a good example of how StarCCM Plus can be used. They set out to develop their first error package, and to do this, they used a combination of imported CAD and parametric CAD within StarCCM Plus that was connected directly to the simulation process. So if they wanted to change something on the CAD, within seconds a change could be made and the simulation could start. And after converging on an arrow layout, 500 cases were automated using optimization built into StarCCM Plus to fine tune the positioning of their wings. After one day on a 128 core cluster, they're able to increase the downforce by another 5%. The end result is that in one year, 1,000 models were simulated and the final design produced 275 pounds of downforce at 50 miles per hour, a leading aero package for that year. And the main student leading this work was hired by Roush Fenway Racing partially because of this experience. Now if your team wants to look at how flow is behaving in time across your vehicle, this is something that can be easily accounted for. For example, the University of Manitoba Formula SAE team did this to evaluate the performance of their drag reduction system. And this team studied how the vehicle behaves when accelerating from the start line, and this accounts for things like the rotation of tires in time. I would also like to highlight that the student who did the active error simulations was hired as an intern by Tesla and was quoted saying the software has been absolutely crucial in achieving my dream internship as an aerodynamicist with Tesla. Keep in mind better computers help to run these simulations faster and that's because the ability to process data is determined by the number and speed of CPUs and it's limited by how fast memory can be accessed. However, your team may not have access to high-end computers or clusters on campus. That's where cloud computing companies like Nibix, Rescale, and Sablecore can alleviate this problem by providing these resources to you at no cost. This pre-built sim allows users to significantly reduce their CFD setup time and spend more time exploring designs. Users can either import their geometry and visually tag different components of their car or use the built-in parametric CAD. After this, the geometry is wrapped and cleaned so that time is not spent trying to manually clean and prepare geometry. This is fed into the meshing setup that produces somewhere between 8 to 17 million cells, depending on your geometry. The settings for the meshing are based on the best practices for automotive external aero. That mesh is connected to the existing models, boundary conditions, reports, plots, and scenes. The boundary conditions include spinning wheels, a radiator that uses validated flow resistance terms, and a fan that implements a fan curve. The reports and plots cover the downforce and drag vol components, radiator mass flow, and more. One of the scenes for results contains 32 layers of visualization that include different velocity vectors and pressures, isosurfaces, streamlines, and other elements including the center of pressure. The mesh scene contains 11 layers including mesh on the boundaries, cut plane sections, and aspects that help to troubleshoot any issues such as the visualization of highly skewed cells and residual fields for high specific dissipation rate and TKE. Once the simulation has been run, the existing geometry can be morphed, rotated, or translated and easily ran again. You can also import new geometry and simply point the setup to the new geometry. Keep in mind that nothing here is locked in place. This is simply a pre-built simulation that leverages the way StarCCM Plus interconnects CAD, surface prep, meshing, models, the runtime environment, and analysis to streamline the setup process. You can change anything you want here. There is also a variation of this built specifically for solar cars. You can reference the same YouTube video to understand how to operate that simulation. One thing to consider in the simulation template is that you can easily rotate the car geometry to see how crosswinds can affect the stability of your solar car, which is very important because, as we saw in previous years in the World Solar Challenge, strong winds cause the leading car to roll off the road along with another car. That concern is reflected by the University of Michigan solar car team. We were definitely concerned about how things like winds uh, in the outback, the gusts are pretty large, as well as road trains would affect the car. Um, being able to run those simulations and, and kind of create an environment, so to speak, uh, in Star CCM Plus that let us um, figure out how those gusts and how those road trains might affect us uh, in the beginning was, was extremely helpful. Uh, it's really like the workhorse of, uh, of the aerodynamics division. We can run twice or three times more simulation compared to 2015. This article done in collaboration with Queen's University Formula SAE shows how to set up a CFD car cornering simulation in Star System Plus and provides wheel analytical formulation for the definition of the tire's coordinate system along with domain sizing best practices. 
For Rocketry teams, there's a pre-built simulation that allows you to import your CAD and then tune the pre-built CAD in the simulation to fit onto your CAD. After this, some adjustments can be made to the atmospheric pressure to account for altitude, the free stream velocity, nozzle pressure, and exhaust gas properties. Then you can simply run the simulation to find drag, the nozzle temperature profile, shocks, and other flow features. And if you have something like air brakes, which aren't included in the simulation, you can use your own geometry and feed this into the mesh and boundary conditions. To learn the software, there's a ton of content in the support center that ranges from video tutorials, tips and tricks, deep dives on things like turbulence models, and much more. For example, the support center contains a six-part video tutorial series that takes you through the full simulation process, step-by-step, -step, for a Formula SAE car, which is a great place to start for new users and an automotive external aero best practice webinar that touches on topics like the setup, steady and unsteady aerodynamics, post-processing, and more. There are e-learning courses, such as our fundamentals course, and over 160 tutorials that range from foundation onto more specific tutorials on things like meshing, motion, and compressible and compressible flow, and more. To summarize, I showed how we can help drastically cut down the amount of time spent on building and running CFD simulations, but still retain the power needed to accurately capture physics. Quickly iterate on designs, either manually or by automating a design space exploration study. And we can help you look deeper into the system with things like moving bodies and time unsteady solutions.